recording okay yeah now i'm recording so last week we touched uh facebook marketing i touched pretty heavy much on facebook advertising how to run ads on facebook that links to instagram right was there anything i didn't touch on facebook marketing probably i promised to touch today that i might have forgotten does anyone have any any reminders for me okay so uh last week while we were treating facebook marketing we touched uh, facebook from the page level we talked about the meta business suites then we talked about uh, the facebook ads manager facebook business manager uh touched on how to set create your audience on uh, facebook we touched uh, uh how to run ads selecting objectives all of these breakdowns your the three levels to campaigns where you have your campaign level your ad set level your ad level and all of that we we touched basically that and i mentioned that most of the time when you run ads on different platforms you would definitely come to you would see that some these uh, processes are mostly the same right you have to select your objective the objectives are cross board most likely the same you have to now set up your ad sets and your ads and all of that so we have touched uh, Facebook advertising, right? So I'm going to go on to Twitter advertising today for us to... Uh, I'm going to go on to Twitter to see, to show us how to run ads on Twitter. Then we'll touch LinkedIn. Then I'll show us uh, Instagram. So for Instagram, guys, I'll have to show us on mobile because you don't get to do much with uh, Instagram on, uh, on on desktop. But first of all, let's just touch the one we can touch on this screen before we go to. Yeah, so I'm going to just share my screen. I hope you guys can hear me very well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can hear you, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. The response. Let me just go to yeah, this. So, uh, like we know, Twitter has been rebranded to X by uh, the CEO, uh, Elon Musk. So, most of the things are actually the same, just most likely the name. However, Elon Musk mentioned that they were trying to make the ad experience better for marketers, basically. Before now, honestly, I, like I, I, I do mention that I use... Uh, most uh, Twitter X down for most of the time. Uh, I when I want to approach Twitter, I do most of influencer marketing. Why? Because the way it is built, you can easily know promoted content, right? And people on Twitter they tend not to. Please, can you mute your mic, please? They, they don't uh, re interact with it most of the time. You just get likes, likes, likes. You don't you get little button clicks and all of that. But when you use uh, influencer marketing, you get more results. That still works. You can see a lot of influencers on Twitter more than other platforms. Yeah. But uh, now, Elomos has kind of uh, rebranded the, the ads out the show. I think with this one, it's more of the same. But now sometimes you can click on post and you see ads in between and you won't even know the ads you probably feel like they are comments because for example this okay not not necessarily this but now this post now this is an ad here yeah, this is an ad you can just see a small button that indicates ad and they try they are trying as much as possible to make it uh, flow into the normal more normal post like you are checking a post you just find figure it out and it's not uh, uh, looking so much different it's more like your normal uh, what do i call it feed now this is a zenith bank ad now you can see how it looks like and there are ones that are just tweets so for uh, most uh, most 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 especially the tweets now once you see them they just flow into your into your 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 comments or your timeline you probably wouldn't know they are ads this is another ad on on uh, twitter now you can see these are ads you have ads on this side as well hashtags ads these are ads here 
you have uh which one again yeah i think that's uh, mostly the ads you have the one that, that pops out in the comments of a post i think this is what they use in paying impressions the number of impressions you get that Elon Musk pays for right these are the way you you start getting paid once ads start popping out on your comments on your post and people inter are interacting then you get paid so yeah let's just uh, move navigate to running ads on uh, so when you are on your twitter page like this you can always see more yeah then you have your connect monetization that's how you get uh, signed up for twitter twitter uh, partnership program or what they call it where you you have to uh, reach i think is it five million impressions or three million i can't remember the number then you have to pay for twitter blue which is eight dollars right eight dollars and you start uh you get the blue tick then once you start running ads once you start posting contents and people are interacting you get paid at the i don't know is it bi monthly something around that yeah so there's a creator studio where you have your analytics for this this is where you see analytics on your page how is your page faring how are you doing you get all of that here you can see your tweet impressions is it an upward trend or downward trend you can see your followers uh then usually before now before elon musk uh, twitter thing we had uh, all of this where informations you could see and then but now some of those infos are not there it's always showing like this before before now this is how it shows but you can see after july for august it's not showing i think they are trying to develop another analytics uh, address or something so you can see before then you can see some of this info then it's not showing again so this is uh, your twitter analytics it tells you uh what post is doing well your top mention your top tweets number of tweets impressions profile visit and all of that you can see that at a glance with uh, with this then you come here let's go back here then you can come here professional tools now ads this is where you run your ads i've i ran a couple of ads on on twitter before yeah so for twitter you can target ads using uh so let's just run through it together yeah keywords just to mention so we have reach this is ads that, that prioritizes the number of people right it prioritizes how many people see are going to see your ad that's what uh, uh that's what uh the reach is about it tells you okay your 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 target is show my ass to the maximum number of people 1000 people but you are charged by 1000 on facebook i think that's all the easiest as well then you have engagements you are trying to get likes retweets replies link clicks right then you have the website traffic you're trying to direct people to your website then you have your keywords reach users with high intent so the keywords are basically you have some words you are you you are trying to target in your business in your niche then you just uh, put those words and you target them and it's still on better mode so they are still trying to improve on it you can see better here it's not the final uh final version yet so now before now anyone could run us now you can see only verified advertisers can run ads on on twitter you have to click here to get verified so let's click and see where that takes us so it's twitter blue sign up okay everything comes down to sign up for twitter blue you can see prioritize rankings and conversations they are telling you why Twitter blue is good for you. Why is it? You can have longer posts. You can edit posts. Okay. 35,500 per year. Not much. So, uh, back here, before you can run ads, they want you to verify now. Before now, you can run ads without a verification. And then the verification was not paid for. It was actually, you have to apply for it and they will check out, are you uh, a notable person that, 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 that needs to be verified to avoid uh, what do I call it now impersonation and all of that. So that's uh, so now you can just try and run a campaign. 
so are we trying to reach engagement website traffic if you have a website you are selling stuff on you want to direct people to your website right if you have a uh, keywords you want to target you are trying to target people who are actively talking about uh, your industry or keywords that are related to you for example if i want to target people who are interested in traveling out of nigeria i'm trying to target okay let's say jackpa i'm going to target a uh, canada immigration canada i'm going to target a uh, uk i'm going I'm trying to target a uh, uk scholarships and all of those keywords that i've researched on then i'll bring all of them and use them to run ads so that means when when accounts that are always talking about these things will start seeing my ads you see the in, that's why they say reach users with high intent meaning you are trying to reach people who are actively talking about what you offer right so the, the conversion will be higher because they are they are they, do, they don't need to be educated about what your product is they know what your product is already they are looking for your so the solution you are offering or your service already then you just uh, key into it so let's just test uh website traffic so next so uh, what you do is you add your text right you add your text let's say uh, this is a preview on search you can see how your ad is doing on search on profile that's uh, what this is for so let's just add a text okay bootcamp 2.0 is on the way register now and click start your dream career in tech so this is our ad text this is what we want to publish we can okay uh website details required launching is out of creative fit so we can add a media right and I'm, I don't think the media is uh, is compulsory. It shouldn't be, because I may decide to run a tweet ad and not uh, this. But if you want to run a media, you can add a picture, or you have a GIF, or you have a video. You can add it to this by clicking here. Once you click this, I think uh, the last I checked, the I tried running ads on on uh, Twitter last week, but I had issues with the video version. It said they wanted the. Uh, they wanted another type of video they didn't want to uh, let's see uh, i tried running they said they wanted a portrait video size so let's see again let's just see so this is the video i wanted to run okay well this is what i uploaded Okay, this is from Media Library. Okay, that wasn't what I uploaded. So, so okay, yeah. You can see now, network is a bit slow. Your media couldn't be uploaded. Your video has an unsupported aspect ratio. Please upload video with 16.9 aspect ratio. So, if you want to start using videos here now, you probably have to uh, work on the videos. I don't have any short video on my on my in my com on my computer i would have uh, movies 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 i don't have any short video i would have tried with another video and see if it works but for images let's just test this we have this then we have uh, yeah. we have this okay so let's test this You can see this works so once you have your image you save i think my network is a bit slow can you guys hear me though yes sir okay just to be sure it's taking time to, yes, to respond so now we have an image right we have an image more images you upload will show in your media library like this you can only select them next time so now we have a, this is our preview. We have two, Bootcamp 2.0 is on that. We register now and can start your dream career in tech. That's uh, what the ad is about. 
then it's showing you preview on search I don't think this even works like that so showing what it's supposed to show so anyways you have uh, cho chosen your objective you have created your ad simple step then you confirm now we have uh, your text you have your image right you can decide not to use an image and just run a tweet tweet ad right then you have uh, your headline what's your headline let's say um, uh, then we have your website url h t https colon Check. good then what next you have this then you have uh, then you click next so what you have to do is uh, verify right you have to verify like I said you just started this this was not there before got it then once you verify what do you do next you do are uh, your demographics right who do you want to target are you targeting women or men you see like i said same procedure with with uh, the one on facebook uh, right so you have a uh, select that specific locations you have locations you want to target or radius around the location uh this is only available in united states and japan it shows you that you can use more location targeting on facebook than on twitter right because you could target streets and all of that but this now they are telling you is only available in us and japan so this you select your location you want, you want to select nigeria say lagos lagos nigeria are you telling me lagos is not here Okay, I've seen it. Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, this is it. I was scared for a bit. So now you can select Lagos. Let's say Abuja. Yeah, you select this. Select all of the locations you want to target. Then you have your gender, any gender. You have your age range. Do you want to select an age range uh, from where to where? Depending on the your audience, pers user persona that you came up with. 25 to what 49 you select that then you come to targeting here is where like i always say your targeting is where the magic is this is where you kind of uh you 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 you, you specify who you want to see your ads so keywords i'm saying product design saying a global audience of uh, 58.6k okay uh, let's say let's say UI UX saying this so let's say digital market so. 51k I'm adding all of that then you can see your audience potential reach here right so you keep uh, making all of this we have a front end web but i'm not liking this interface it's supposed to like uh, show you suggestions of the right spelling and all of that just you would see on facebook once you start punching in their suggestions comes up I guess because it's the, the other one is in better, probably affecting this one. It's not uh, telling you the right spelling and all of that. It's just telling you front end. Yeah, good. Uh, then you have uh, what else? Let's say tech career. Tech. Let's select this. So 
So that's that. Then we have, uh, let's say, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Coding. Global size now available. So let's just stick with this. Depending on your your targeting, you should have researched enough keywords, right? Then if you look at recommendations, it tells you what other things people, yeah, other things people can. So you can see, depending on what you want to do. We have UI, we have a designer, we have a, what is it? There's marketing, I saw marketing one time, front-end developer, right? You click on that, you have a, IT, UX, cloud computing, market. Uh, so you can from here select more options, right? UX design, depending on who you are targeting, marketing again. Uh, UX design, tech, I saw tech, tech, yeah. Technology, digital marketing. So let's say we've selected everything we want to select, right? Then these are included. If I, if I, uh, oh, I just include, include. Let's see, second. I'm trying to look for options to exclude. seeing the options to exclude now oh, copy on clear see tech that's a second you don't change the option to exclude is it on my screen no let's just go back so now i'm dropping all of this So let's say we've selected all of our uh, keywords, then we have follower lookalikes, right? Check, uh, you want, you are trying to now, follower lookalikes means you are trying to target the followers of uh, XYZ person. If I say Don Jazzy now, meaning I'm trying to reach Don Jazzy followers and it's look alike right so once i select don jazzy so most likely what you use this for is you are trying to target people that follow a particular type of influencer right they are following this influencer probably because this influencer talks about jackba how to move to canada for example waka waka doctor right then you look for waka waka doctor here Okay, I've seen it. Yeah, so you look for Waka Waka Doctor here. Yeah. You look for probably other influencers that you have researched on that are that are mostly talking about uh, what do I call it now? Jackpa. Yeah, then let's see Jackpa here. Yeah. Let's see if Jackpa has here. Okay. Okay. I don't like this the way. The, the how this thing works here it's supposed to show you spellings correct spellings and uh, tell you suggestions right you have to go to recommendations to start looking for these things compared to facebook i think i prefer facebook yeah let's say we have selected all of this then you come here that what this is for is to select your lookalikes right lookalike followers you select that what operating system do you do you want to target? Are you targeting people iPhone users alone? Are you targeting Android users alone? People who use other mobile operating systems or desktop, you can do that. Then now you go to interest. You start selecting interest of people you want to target, right? Yeah, you can see different interests in health, science technology and computing if we were talking about the uh, targeting of tech businesses and uh, all of that that we we're talking about now you can just uh, find people to target it yes SEO 
here is a uh, tech news uh, web design Check, 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 check. Um, computer programming and all of that depending on your what you are trying to target right one thing i like about i think it has multiple levels of uh, of uh, targeting right you can do keywords you can do look alike audience you can look alike followers you can do interest now compared to facebook i think that's a an advantage i just don't like the the uh, how, how, how the interface or my experience on it, I would I call it. Then you have a business careers. Let's say careers now. Let's see careers. What's the job first, job search, career news, and general info? Let's see education. We have a uh, what level of education are you targeting? Right for education, LinkedIn will probably be the best way to target. Then you select all of this. Right, you can go through personal finance, uh, music, and radio. Uh, movies and that personal finance credit debt and loans if you are running ads for pumping now probably you use that <laughs> then you have your language right you select your language as well then after you've done that now you come to your budgeting how much are you spending daily budget they are they don't allow you select more uh, lifetime budget compared on like uh, facebook again so you select your daily budget, then you put a range. Your range means your start and your end date. It's important you put it or else your ads just keep running without no, with, well, even probably when you've forgotten it's running, right? So then you add your payment option. What you just have to do here is add your, uh, your card. Somebody wants to say something. Yeah, I'm sorry. Does this... Uh... Does Twitter have not um, show? Okay, without your budget of fifty dollars per day, it doesn't show like the estimated audience that it will reach without budget. It doesn't show it. Are you sure? Are you stop here? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So now, what you just have to do is before you, you make sure your audience is well detailed, right? You selected your location, you choose your keywords that you researched, punch all of them here. Uh, and look at the recommendations so that it's uh, so because I said it's Canada now, now I'm having Alberta, Ontario, social media because of digital marketers and all of that digital marketing. So even when you're punching your keywords, make sure you come to recommendations because it's not say if if for, for example uh, Facebook it's quite uh, close ended in terms of what you can punch, right? Now, for example, I, I added digital marketers. They uh, they probably don't have an audience size record for digital marketers, but they allowed me to punch it in. For Facebook, I won't be able to punch it. I'll have to select from the options that are available, right, that are related to, to what I'm saying. For example, if hashtag digital marketing is what they have in their record, I won't be able to click digital marketers. I'll just take from the selections, right? So that's uh, this. You can always... Uh, select multiple social media marketing b2b marketing marketing automation and all of that facebook ads so use all of this as much as you can right i you can use it as much as you can advertising done once you've done that you always see your audience summary here yeah reach potential is this but i don't think it shows you how, how much people you reach on a daily it just shows you your overall uh, audience size, right? That's what it shows you here. Then you come to your follower look alike for target those influencers that are in your in your industry. Then, so you can uh, what do I call it now? Use their followers, right? You can reach their followers. Then you come to your budgeting. Then you include that for excluding ads. I don't know. Maybe it's the interface that's not letting me see what button to click to exclude. Because honestly, it's supposed to be a button. On like, for Facebook, it's easy to actually note the button that tells you to exclude. And these things are changing every day. So once you've done all of this, you've selected this, and you have uh, what do I call it now? Verified for the eight dollar, which was not there <laughs> when I was until well, almost came on board. So once you've done all of that, then you launch your campaign. That's just it. They, what they do is you review, you've added your payment method, you've verified if you are paying your $8 now. Then 
all of this you just launch your campaign and your campaign starts uh, rolling out right that's uh, basically what uh, instagram uh, twitter ads is about does anyone have any question they want to ask me concerning this before i move okay okay go on go on with your question how many people do we have now we have 16 okay welcome guys some of you might have missed this class okay go on mr franklin this uh audience uh, and some in the what's it called the potential reach is it how much i mean how many people it will reach for the entire uh campaign of 50 dollars per day or just like, like per day is 1.3 to 1.4 it's, uh, it's your overall reach it's not a uh, your your daily budget is not a determinant for this this just tells you based on your targeting this is what your audience potential is so now they are not showing unlike facebook where they show you when you put put xyz amount does facebook even show you that okay you would have imputed the amount on a page that's on the either campaign level or ad set level right then if you do it on the asset level you would see it change because you have to put your audience and all of that at the same page but now this one is just telling you the num your potential for your based on your targeting not based on your budget do you understand that okay, okay. yeah okay, okay so it's just telling you your overall campaign we can reach 1.3 million to 1. maybe when you've spent ten dollars now you probably reach 200k to 300k people okay 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 so to understand it so based on this sorry yeah go on yeah based on this now okay with my uh, with my audience target is telling me that i might reach that's my target now which can reach more, close to 1.4 million yeah but it depends on my budget yeah. If I should budget fifty dollars per day, and I'm not still that one point four, right? Yeah, you can budget fifty dollars on a daily and probably not reach one point four million at the end of the okay, okay, okay. okay. the, 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 the the what do I call it now? The economics of that is left to them. Same with uh, okay. <laughs> running ads on Facebook. Sometimes they will tell you your 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 uh, what do I call it? They call it ad fatigue. Now your ad your ad is tired or something. But you are not showing it to the number of to the uh, most number of people you said you were probably going to show it. To. But that's how it works. If they show your ad on fifty dollar to everybody, who's going to run for hundred dollar? When I I know if I spend fifty dollar, I'll reach all my audience. <clears throat> you get that? So yeah, Mister Rab, you go on please. All right, sir. Morning, morning sir. sir. Good morning. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. God will continue to bless you. Thanks for the opportunity. Um, running hard back on an X. Yeah. Are we going to navigate from our profile? Yeah, I navigated from the profile. Let me just do that again. So you come here. Oh, yes. You come here. You come to more. Then you click professional tools. Then you click ads. Once you click it, it opens another page that shows up okay. and tells you. All right. This. All right. Thank, thank you, sir. sir. Yeah, you're welcome. That's just it. It shows you your objective. You select reach. That's you are prioritizing the number of people that you want to ask to, to see your ads. Engagement, you just want to get the likes, the retweets, the comments, and the link clicks. Then traffic, you want to direct people to your website. Keywords, you are trying to target people who are talking about some keywords in your business, right? Just like what we did there. But since it's uh, let's even see, it's on better. It's not a full version. So let's say we use what we use here. That's it. That's it. Come in. I'm not going to now start racking my head to type something again. Right line. So let's say we do this. Okay. We don't want to add an image. We just want to run this ad. Let's say next. Somebody wants to ask say something. Yes, sir. It's me, sir. Okay, go on. I quickly go to my Twitter X now. Mm -hmm. Clicking on it, it is only showing me monetization, Twitter profession, but there's no no more there. Take me to setting when I click it down. Are you on a mobile or yes, sir, mobile mobile site? Okay, let me just check my mobile and see I think, how we look. I think you have to yes, I think you have to switch your account to 
business or something, creator or something. Oh, oh, oh I I like that. That. No, you don't have to switch your account to creator. Uh, uh, okay. You the thing is you can't access it on on your mobile. I don't know about iPhones, but on Android you can't access it. Just the oh, same okay. way I can't access it here. It's the oh, same right. way if you want to check analytics, you can't check it that from your profile to redirect. You will probably have to use a Chrome and type in the address analytics dot Twitter like that. So for this you have to use a, a, a what do I call it now? A desktop or laptop. You have to use a desktop. You can't do it uh, on your mobile yeah. like you just like this. It's the same process. Right. So it's not a creator or something. Okay, so thank you. So yeah, for the keywords now you can see the interface is quite different. You have let's see what's this. You need to add at least one photo or video. Okay. Said I must add a video. No. Oh. Now you have your keywords. Put your keywords here. Uh, you can add up to 200 keywords. You punch in all your keywords that you've researched from your... Uh, but for this now, do, do you use long tail keywords or you just use phrases? I think phrases will probably work be what you use here. Because if you use long tail keywords, I don't know. What's, what's that sound? Mm. It's not really? Okay. I don't know why that happened now. Just this is that. Just a second. Let's just uh, round up this. So we have a. Uh, so once you do this, you have your keywords. Uh, you have your uh, bid. You pay for link clicks. Then you, uh, you select your demographics again like we did before then you add your payment section so what's the difference here is just your option to put in 200 keywords okay just a second okay uh just hold on give me a minute Okay, so uh, once this this call drops now, we'll just uh, send another link for you to join again. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay, okay. Okay. What's up? Um, okay, just chat extra extra up. I will send to her. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so that's uh, that's basically Twitter Twitter advertising. That's uh, Twitter advertising. What I'll just do is show us uh, LinkedIn now, so we see how to run ads on LinkedIn as well. Then which one again? Instagram. We we'll go to Instagram. Mostly Instagram, you can run ads on Facebook. The way I showed us on Facebook. Once you link it, you can run ads on Facebook. But I thought I, I promised to show us. Uh, please, you are raising your uh, Victoria, go first. Go on. Yeah, I think I mentioned that that because the way Twitter ads have always been. The question is, you notice people really use don't really use Twitter ads as much as Facebook, Instagram. What they do, what, what I've worked over time on Twitter, that uh, is because people react uh, relate more with influencer marketing on Twitter. The way Twitter is structured, you know, it's a, it's an opinion based uh, platform where you people you yeah, are yeah, people follow people who they seem um to share to have the same opinion with that uh, seem to say what they probably don't have the guts to say and all of that. So it's more of a influencer type uh, place where. People are worship for their opinion and all of that. So when you want to run ads, it's always most likely go through those people that they want to hear speak. Even for music adverts, you see people running and saying, ah, I've been listening to this song. If you follow Don Jazzy, he does that kind of campaign a lot for his artists. So that's influencer marketing is what works most time on Twitter. When you run normal ads, you rarely get the results you want i've tried it before it doesn't work i don't use it that often so i use i prefer to use facebook instagram 
So if I want to use this Twitter, I'll just use the uh, influencers, right? If you want to do PR campaign and all of that, you can do that. Then Mr. Franklin, go on, please. I think we might probably just have to go on with your question. Yeah, maybe I have to talk about Twitter. Uh, Twitter yeah, 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 it's uh, it's there now. The, for example, if you say you are, your objective is rich, that means you are paying for per thousand rich, per thousand persons. That's it. These keywords now, you guys, he's saying pay by link click. That means you are paying by link click. For uh, the other one, website, traffic to your website is also link click. I think they are pretty straightforward. For engagements, you are trying, probably going to be paying by impressions. Okay. Yeah, they don't have. Uh, they are not as sophisticated as the Facebook, where you can pay by landing landing page views, conversions, and all of that. They don't have all of that here. So uh, let's just do LinkedIn before we get kicked out. So let me just share my screen again. Oh so, yeah, this this. So this is LinkedIn. We all use LinkedIn. Yeah. So LinkedIn most like is a, a B2B platform. It's not that does not does not mean it's just business to business campaigns. You can do B2C there as well. But it's uh it's you see where people come here, they're always professionals. The kind of uh what do I call it? Like I said, behavior of different social media is different. The behavior here is the professional. Uh, I'm trying to get my dream job. I don't have, I'm trying to meet my, my destiny help or something. <laughs> don't mind me. So, is, uh, is everybody's always professional here? To be as professional as possible. Uh, pages, you can see your pages here. These are pages that you have access to on your, on your account. So, let's just walk through this real quick. So, most like when you want to start, you click on for business. For business, if I click on... Uh, Create a company page. This is create a company page. Once I click on this, I can create a page for a company. Once you click this, you can see company. You can see showcase page. So this showcase showcase page is more like you have a page already, but you want to have a sub page on that. Then you have for institutions, you have for schools and universities. This is what they use to create their own account. This is what companies use. This is just like a sub page under an existing page. That's it. Once you click on it, it's the same steps you follow by like when you are creating page on any other platform. Put your name, put your website, and they give you a a, a sell a help like a, what do I call it now? A, the, this prompt that directs you to what to do next and what not to do. That's a, how to create a page on LinkedIn. Once you create a page on LinkedIn, you can always uh, yeah. What's this? Okay. So let's just try one page. Now. So let's say this page. So once you create a page on LinkedIn, this is how it looks like. This is how your page looks like on the back end. You have your feed, you have your activity that tells you what people are liking, commenting, uh, what people are saying about uh, your content, right? You can always reply them here. You have uh, comments, mentions, reactions, reports, analytics. Go to analytics here. This is your analytics. Yeah, you can see, you can change the date here. The date, last 30 days, last night. If you want to use the custom date, you can come here to see, okay, this is the date I want to use. Your start date and your end date. Analytics tells you what's working on your page, what's not working. So this is your, these are the contents. You can see the audience, impressions, views, clicks, CTR. That's your click-through rate. And you have your reactions, right? You have all of that, yeah. Then here you have uh, your visitors. You want to check analytics on people who come to your website. You can check them here. Your visitor metrics are here. You can see where your visitors, your visitors demographics, engineering, arts and design, information technology, marketing. This shows where the industry they are in at the moment. Your, of your this, you can see company size. The company size of most people that visit the eleven to fifty employees, ten thousand to plus employees you can see all of that here then you can see the industry it service technology banking non-profit so this should tell you if you are your content are reaching the right people right if you're an it service and consulting 
like Activity Tech. This 20% goes to IT technology. Then you have a software development here. You have banking, non-profit organizations. And all that. Then you have uh, your location. Where are you people reaching you for? You have UK, India, Washington DC, and all of that. Yeah. Then you have your uh, seniority. What role? Mostly they are all entry roles. People will see your content. I think India has a large number of people who are interested in IT. So this is uh, your entry role. You have entry people, then you have senior, manager, CXO, director, just one director. That's uh, this for your, then you can see your page views, unique visitors here. Then your followers. These are people who visit your page. These are your followers, right? People who's, who are following you at the moment. Then you have your location, Lagos, Nigeria, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ibadan. Mm? Then you have uh, company size and all of that. You can do that again for these people. Then you have leads. You can always have a lead generation form on your page. You can add a lead gen form to your page. Then competitors. You can see your competitors. Sister Lee HQ, the Concept UX Shops, Women Power Africa. Any of these are the competitors. You can always see them there. Then you have uh, employee advocacy. What is this? Okay. Recommendations for employees. Okay, nice. So then you have settings. Under settings, this is where you can uh, check a lot of things on your page. Manage admins. This is where you can add somebody as your admin. You can see admins on your page. You can always add people as admin here on your page. Right, that's uh, what you do here. Okay. Yeah, so you can always add people as admin on this side of your page. Then let's go back. So we have touched uh, how to create a page, then we navigated the interface of a company page, how it looks like. This is where you can post a job, advertise on LinkedIn. So advertise on LinkedIn. Let's just go to wait advertise you click here or you can go here and say advertise so when you click advertise it shows you this page share this tab wait guys uh which page have you guys been seeing before No one said anything. I thought I was sharing my LinkedIn page before. You were seeing as I was navigating from one page to the other, right? Okay. 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 I was scared for a bit. I thought I wasn't sharing that. So, yeah. This is how your campaign manager is on LinkedIn. For every page you have, you have a different campaign uh, ad account. You can see these are an account, these are an account, these are an account, these are an account. Right? These are multiple accounts. Because I have I, I was I had access to multiple pages, right? Yeah, I can create an account for another page. But I'm not doing that. Let's just test with all of this that we have. Okay, click on this. Good. You can always create an account from that side. So when you cl click on this, it brings you here. Yeah. yeah you have your plan audience this is where you can always do your audience thing create a new audience just like we did on on facebook you click on this you can see upload a list if you have a, a list of contacts retarget by company page lead gen form single image or create a predictive uh content a predictive uh, page then you have your saved that shows you audiences you have saved this was one i created in 2017 yeah 4000 members project management okay so we can create a page create audience oh uh, but chip 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 uh, okay okay what is it no nah, okay this is it this is uh your audience um, dismiss nice so yeah where is your target audience you change your location depending on the location you want to use 
guys i think they will probably be logging us out on this call any moment from now let's see two minutes so what we'll do is let's log out then we'll come back then i would start uh, the audience thing again good all right sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So welcome back guys. Uh just share my screen. So we just use one more hour. Yeah. Check check check. Where is it? 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 Come tab. So Can you guys see my screen now? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. If you have contacts of anyone on this that's supposed to be on this call, you can just uh, share the link with them too, please. It's on the group, sir. Yeah, you know, some people say they are not in the group. Oh. Hmm. so guys like we're saying you can change your location here mm. location where you are targeting so you have option for recent or permanent location or permanent location you can see people who recently visited or permanently live or work in the selected location people who permanently live or, or work in the selected location i think there was a time we had it. we always had a uh issue selecting this i think they modified it on facebook as well where you can select people who are currently in this location or people who are recently that means the person might have interacted with this location people will show interest sorry i think people will show interest so the person might probably come here and has left then you are running out to so that such person and the person might probably be in united kingdom at the moment and you want them to buy something from your store in nigeria so it's always uh important that you depending on what your objectives are you carefully select this to fit what you want so let's say recent and permanent location so let's search lagos 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 state nigeria lagos state nigeria yeah let's say port harcourt port harcourt river states rivers okay rivers is the state let's use rivers the state rivers Let's say, where again? Let's say Abuja, Federal Capital Territory. Yeah. Select all of this. Like this. So, yeah, someone wants to say something. Go on, please, if you want to say something. So you can see, for example, when we were doing the Twitter thing, it was hard to even find the exclude button. But yeah, see, exclude is here. You click on this, I can add locations I don't want people to, to be on, right? So now we have, who is your target audience? Narrow. Now you have to select skills. Audiences, use your data to retarget website visitors like we talked about, using your list, upload, your lookalike, predictive retargeting if you have a list of contacts you can upload them if you have a link uh what do i call it now this uh 
this thing we were talking about tags, putting tags on your website. We would I would to show us how to do that. Let's just select this audience first. I'll show us how to do that here now. So we have uh, audience attributes, right? Then you come to company. So if you are running a campaign and you don't have a data, you don't have any ready-made data, first off, and you don't have any list to upload and all of that, then you just come to audience attributes. You select company. What company do you want to target? Is a company category? Then you can see companies here, Fortune 100 fast growing companies, Fortune 1000 US only, LinkedIn news, editor stop companies, Brazil. Depending on your your targeting, LinkedIn news, editor stop companies, Nigeria, is that who you want to target? Then you come back, company. So this company targeting now is for B2B, right? I'm trying to run ads on B2B. Company names, if you have names, you, revenue, size, industries, growth rates, you can always do any of this, right? Then you have demographics, member age. What's the age, what's the gender? We know that. You have education, degrees, field of study, member school. Which school do they go? Once target people that went to University of Ibadan. This is it, you are step. You want to target people that went to uh, Ama Dubelo University. Ama. Oh, yeah. Step. So you can do that with this, depending on where you want to target. Then you come back here, select job experience. <clears throat> okay, we've selected member school. Do I want to select the field of study? I want to select people who study the let's say electrical engineering. You can see it. So it's there. You can target people based on their profession, their school, their field of study, their degrees. Do you want to target people with their masters? I okay. want to target people with a PhD. You get it? So depending on what you want to target people, then you have your job experience. Job experience, what well, job functions, job seniority, you want to target only top level managers. Then you can select them here. You want to target owners, partner, CXO, VP, director, manager. You can select all of that there. You want to select people who are unpaid or training, you can select that. Depending on what your marketing goals and objectives are, right? Then you have your interests and traits, which is what uh, we are used to on other platforms. Oh, general interests. What are the general interests? Arts and entertainment, business and management. Yeah. And they still have subsections again. Careers and development. Are they in retirement, self-employment? So all of these things, you can always use them to, uh, to target. So let's say uh, technology. Let's see what's in technology. AI, biotech, computer graphics, computer programming, computer software, data management, digital manufacturing, electronics, IT, nanotech, robotics, quantum computing, all of this. If you want to target people who have interest in all of this, you can only select them. So it's just for you to, first off, like I always say, have your audience research. What do, where do they gather? What do they do? where are they from all of these things have enough data about your audience if those things are not in place that we've discussed earlier right you have not done enough research on who your audience are or on uh, what they do or which school they, they they went to what courses do they are they, did they study right you've not done all of these things years of experience is also there do you want to target people with uh, one year experience or people who have uh, See, 12 plus okay i want to start targeting people from five years experience or six years experience right you can do that all of these things is important right you make sure you select that if you want to narrow audience further what that narrowing are you narrowing again maybe you want to select and also have any of the following attributes so you can always select small attributes you want uh, somebody who have who are 
who are who have studied in uh, UI or Abu or somebody who have six to twelve years experience and as XYZ again. You know the English and what and means. I think where do they use that? Is it in set? I think it's in set universal set and all of that. They use the word and and use it to confuse all that those yet. So and is it set or probability? I think it's in probability. I can't remember. So you can always do that and also have any right here it is uh, optional is either school or experience right then here it is combination of this and something else from here so you can always uh, do that once you do you apply so it's telling you 69 percent are generally interested in business administration right it's telling you 18 percent are interested in computer software products from these people you have selected this audience we have picked for people in, living in lagos rivers fct that went to ui or abu and have six to twelve years experience it's telling you a breakdown of these people now it's telling you they are interested in business admin they're interested in computer computing software products it's telling you 18 percent work in business development function 30 percent have the seniority of entry 13% have title of business strategy. All of these things giving you further breakdown. So you are sure the audience you are targeting are who you want to actually target. Right? It tells you. So this breakdown will inform you about okay, these people you are targeting, they are actually the audience you had researched on before. It's just a, a more of a two FA, a two factor authentication of uh, who your audiences are. Then you have your top locations. You can see if you run these ads, people in Lagos are 280,000, Abuja 120, Port Harcourt. Then you have uh, Ikeja, Leki, Yaba. Before I start sounding like a post conductor, let me stop calling these addresses. So that's it. Then you have your content. Uh, you can see they are interested in business administration, human resources, working environment infrastructure social issues go on please if you have a question then here you have your member what function does this where do they work business development operations sales engineering it all of this then the companies that they work in is trying to get you can see how rich the data you can get on linkedin is you see they work with fiverr access bank first bank lagos state government shell some are self-employed, Zenith Bank, Dangote, Sterling. You can tap into the power of uh, LinkedIn advertising. Don't let me start advertising, <laughs> advertising LinkedIn to you now. So that's it, basically. Let's see test. Test. So you can see what you can do with this. Then once you are done, edit, create campaign, manage, save. You save. Test. Test save. So I can go back now. So I have a test test audience here. So for this matched audience, like we t we said, you s we is the same thing as a custom audience on a, on Facebook where you have to upload contacts and all of that. There is company contact that you have. You can upload it and target these people. You can retarget by company page people who have interacted with your page, seeing people who have interacted with your website and all of that. If I select website, for example, it will tell me. Uh, name your create an audience who visited one or more of your website. Uh, well, check, 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 check. Let's see. I'm trying to get uh, where it tells me to let's say test web, then 90 days in the past. Yeah, then you start with equals, let's you equals, meaning you are trying to get people who HTTP. S colon slash slash www dot dot tech right you say yeah exactly what I was expecting the prompt I was expecting you will need to install an insight tag for your website audience to work once you launch your campaign we will help you set up your insight tag this tag is what you have to set up on your website like just the same way we pixel tag just so you can track 
the website visitors that you want to target right so that's uh, what this is about this match audience is just when you have a list or you're trying to even if i say predictive uh unable to create predictive audience i would need to have a, a, a matched audience first conversion or lead gen form to create a predictive audience right so the conversion we've been talking about on facebook we didn't get to see it on twitter it was there before before this new change of everything on twitter right so that's how to create your audience this is how you once you've created your audience you have an audience so from here you can just select this audience and say add to a campaign you can just add it to a campaign and it starts running right then there's the what option again you can come here and say advertise then it shows your ad manager yeah you just click on create so yes like i said you have a campaign groups campaign and ads the facebook one is campaign assets and ads right so it's the same same logic three steps to it there is a campaign there is a campaign and there is a campaign group campaign and ads then you just uh, let's say create campaign group What's the name of your campaign group? Let's say uh, Bootcamp Bootcamp 2.0, right? Are you guys with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any yes. question? Hope it's yes, not sir. confusing. Have I hope I'm not uh, speaking German. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank you very much. So yeah, you have your up uh, your objective. Same way we do every time objective what's the objective brand awareness you want people to know more about your business right then you have your consideration website visit they should visit your website you want them to engage like post share comment uh view video views you just want them to watch your video right you have your conversion lead lead gen uh where you are trying to get emails right you can use lead gen form on on linkedin facebook also has their own lead gen form you can use that Website conversions. Do you want to set up? Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. Now. Yes, sir. I can see. You can now. I can see. Yes. Uh, Not sure, sir. You can't see my screen. It's, no, it's now. It's, it's showing now. It's showing now. Okay, so yeah, you select your objective, awareness, consideration, conversion, right? Same thing we've talked about. You want to get sales, you are trying to get people to take an action on your website, use conversion so you can track it. Purchases, registration, or downloads, you can see. Purchases, registrations, download. Uh, website business, you just want people to go to your website, right? You want people to drive traffic to marketing landing pages, drive traffic to your LinkedIn events. Yeah, all of that. Let's select. What do we select? Website visit. Okay, good. Selected that. Mm, so you can see here, it says shared by all campaigns in this campaign group. You know what we mentioned in Facebook that we say what some things you do on campaign level will affect everything under that. So when you have a campaign now, this is a campaign group. Every campaign under this campaign group will follow the same objective. That is website visit right same with facebook where we talked about setting an objective from the campaign level right uh, for budget optimization is the same thing when you look at these things look at them if you can successfully run a facebook ad you can run ads on this platform say budget optimization this means it wants to automatically spread your budget to the best performing campaigns right you can have multiple campaigns and you can select budgets for each one or you select the budget on this level then it automatically spread it across board, depending on your objective. Like I mentioned, you, well, all of these things are the same principles. If I select this, it's just the same thing as campaign budget optimization on, on Facebook. So once you select this, add your running dates. I don't want to select this. I want to set budget on campaign group level. Then select your start and end date is important, or else you just want to spend money. Have your start and end date selected. Then you click on create. So what this does is it create it creates immediately. But for Facebook, it will it will it will take you to the next page, right? But this creates, so it is created already. Then now you click on this, right? You click on what you've created, 
does it load yeah because you don't have you've cre selected one campaign group now there are no campaigns on that then you create your campaign because you've created campaign group right then you create there is quick there is advanced we are in advanced right you said bootcamp 2.0 that's the campaign group is active right all of this has been selected then you click next yeah so here yeah, you name your campaign okay bootcamp 2.0 test right your objective can be changed you've selected on your group uh, campaign group level right you can use audiences here by facebook by linkedin audiences they have members with a bachelor's degree so when you click once you click this you are targeting everybody that has bachelor's degree if you click this you are targeting everybody in that has knowledge in biotech expertise in, expertise in bitcoin you can use all of this uh, automatic uh, audience from uh, linkedin small business owners software engineer professionals members with phd uh, marketing professional logistics and supply chain professional, all of this you can select expertise in iot mm. then you can come to save audience save audience is in two places like we said the matched and the saved the matched are the ones where you have to use inside tags linkedin inside tags or you have to use uh what else now um upload a list of contacts use people who have visited your company page before or you choose a an audience you have selected or you just set create your audience here right now so because you've created this before same process you can see <coughs> same thing just come here let's select what we've created before test okay where is it yeah good it has been selected here is your audience size six hundred and ten thousand people function you can see in 30 days you can see what they tell you 30 days you are going to reach spend 2000 linkedin is expensive let me tell you that it's expensive because of the quality of people you can see how the uh, audience are well well uh, what do i call it now well analyzed and uh, labeled so you have 2700 to 45 you have uh, a 30 day impression of 120k to 340k your CTR that's click through rate. Click through rate means how was the rate at which people see your ads and click on it, right? When people see your ads, how often do they click on it? I think it's divided by you use your impressions by your by your, your link clicks divided by impressions times one thousand. Then you get your percentage. Link clicks over impressions times one thousand. That's how you get this. So you have zero point seven seven percent to one point two four. Click through rates are always this like this. Three, I think 3.4 depending on industry and depending on what it's about what the content is about and your industry you can always google the average uh, CTR for your business so to know okay if I'm running this ad am I getting the best results but you have to understand that it's peculiar to your business if you are if a business has been existing their click-through rate probably be different from a new business that's trying to drive traffic regardless of what your marketing efforts are well maybe if you have a great marketing idea strategy and the existing business has a poor one you will definitely overshadow it then it's telling you in 30 days you have 1400 to 3800 clicks right then you have a cost per click of 1.665 dollars to 2.47 dollars per one click that's one click is going to cost you one dollar one point six five dollars in nigeria money that's like how much one thousand six hundred and fifty naira. wow so that's what one click will cost you so you know if you are running ads here you have to know what your arrow is going to be what's your return on investment per, per one click let's say one click you are paying one thousand six fifty naira what does one conversion one sales get you you have to analyze that if you are selling for if one person eventually buys how much do you get instantly if you buy if one person buys now for example let's say you are selling a course for 20k then but link click does not necessarily mean conversion right so if you are selling a course for 20k 
and you want to know the number of people you want to ac accurately get how much you are spending you have to track conversion that's you have to track your thank you or success page that we discussed where you have to track the page that pops up after someone has made a payment right because that your cpa now that's your cost per acquisition that's cost per one sales now will be high will not be 1650 it will be more than because not everybody that clicks is going to buy do you get the logic so it, it depends on how much are you are you how much does one sales conversion equals to for you and how much are, do you is your budgeting plan are you willing to spend uh, spend 10k to get 20k does that make sense so depends on you so yeah your ad formats ah, i have a link for this ad format explanation but I, just, I don't think i have it anymore so we have a single image carousel single image is just one picture then carousel means you can use multiple images of up to 10 i believe like uh, the one with facebook as well you can use up to 10 i think they i saw aliexpress ad that has 15 images probably they've increased it or maybe it's a uh, maybe depending on your account then you have video you have a video that you are running at with text just text spotlight showcase your products increase traffic to your landing page then you have message this one delivers to the inbox of your target audience we've all we all use linkedin you get email messages somebody just tells mails you and say uh take a course in whatever or whatever is more you feel like ah did i reach out to this person and you figure out there's an email tag in mail tag on it then conversation this one is uh uh this one how this works is they deliver a message to your inbox more like the email but the flip side to it is once this message starts you get prompts and you get responses you can it's uh, more like a, an ai uh messaging where is it ai or is it pre-recorded message would i call it when you click on one option it's automatically when you are setting it up for example you would have uh, you would have what would i call it pre preempted what your audience would ask right uh you want to say for example we have a course in bootcamp 2.0 we have three courses right we are and i say take a course in uh, take join our bootcamp 2.0 class then i have option one yes i am interested option two no i'm not interested once someone clicks no i'm not interested the next line will probably be thank you for your time or something when you click yes i'm interested then you have pre-recorded another response that says choose the course of your choice that's uh, the three courses you are offering front-end product design digital marketing right okay the person picks digital marketing probably the next option will be two options for learning is it virtual is it uh, physical then the person selects this you can always automate this in your conversation type of uh, of messaging yeah then you have your document your event sorry you want to have an event on linkedin uh this document is the same thing we see on linkedin with a uh, slide post where you have a uh, I, I think I did one. Let me show you. Let me show us real quick. I'm coming back here. So let's see. Boom. You guys can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So of course. So this is what a document this thing is. I think that's the best way to yeah, think something like this. See, this is what they mean by document. You just upload a PDF instead of uploading these images one by one. This one by one image thing might not look good all the time. You can say this is what a document slide is. You upload a PDF. It's a PDF format, right? If you want to do it, let me just show us in case somebody wants to do it. So you just click here then you click this three button here you see documents you add a document you choose your file pdf it's pdf once you upload your pdf you can you, you start scrolling like this yeah this is another one i think it's the best way to, to to share multiple images on linkedin compared to to this one i hope i see something like that where you just uh, people i think people are now getting the gist with this 
they don't do the other one again i don't see that more often let me see if i can find one okay this is an event this is an event you can promote this this is an event now you can promote it as an ad yeah, trying to i'm trying to look for that one there's no time more. let me be going yeah, yeah i found it so this is it you can see this now this this uh is more of a what do i call it now carousel multiple image you want to show multiple image but it's showing like this would you prefer this to the pdf where you can just slide through i think i'll prefer the other one and this is even better because the colors are kind of uh they fit they, they suit each other if it's something that does not uh suit each other now you probably have one ugly thing that probably nobody will want to want to check out it will just be it's not all well organized like this so that's that so let's go back to this <laughs> So yeah, so once you select your conversation or whatever you want to do, after LinkedIn, I think we are done with social Instagram. Ah, from my mobile. Oh dear. So we just touched that. Then, so after you selected this, you can select your placements the way you do on uh, on on Facebook, where you select Facebook, Instagram messenger and all of that but this does not have all of that they just they only have linkedin that's linkedin which is automatic it can be switched off then audience network please ads on trusted third party publishers right they are trying to 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 to, to show us to people probably outside of linkedin but uh, they are linkedin audiences as well uh the way they do that on on uh, facebook one time was when you run out when you have a post for example you are surfing your your facebook feed then you click a link you know instead of the link to open and take you to 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 open and probably open a browser like a chrome or another safari or you you see browser whatever browser before you can access that page you can load that page on your facebook app so when you load that page on your facebook app, that page is like audience network so they can show ads to you there Right, you are so you are checking another link, but it is on your Facebook app still. That's what work this works how this works as well. So now because we didn't select budget on the campaign campaign group level, we can only select our budget here. They give up option for lifetime budget here. Select your lifetime budget, uh daily budget. I think a minimum is ten dollars. If I select five dollars, it won't go. Nope, ten dollars. So that's it, ten dollars. But for Facebook, you can run ads of two dollars. People run ads of five hundred naira on Facebook. So, <laughs> so that's it. You select your start and end date. Important, you have an end date. Maximum delivery or cost cap. Get as many results as possible while still in under your desired maximum cost per result. If you select this, it will tell you how much you want to pay per landing page click. I don't select this. It might not be good for you. Use this. Because if you are selecting this, you are trying to be the one in charge of uh, your bidding, right? You want to be in charge of your bidding and you have competitors. So it might probably affect your ad delivery, right? So this is your conversion tracking. If you want to select this, this we'll talk about how to create this after we touch, we touch, um, after this class, we'll touch uh, Instagram after this, we'll touch Instagram after Instagram. We'll go to PPC. Yeah, that's the next class. First thing first, before I start anything on link on PPC, remind me I want to show us Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager, someone should remind me, please. Google Tag Manager, so I will show us how to use uh, Google Tag Manager to to set up all of this conversion tracking, whatever. Or you just click on it, create a new conversion, then you say thank you page. You can see thank you page, you select it, then let's say conversion name is required bc 2.0 test all right select what do you want to do add to cart you can see apply job book these are leads download install request code schedule depending on what you want to target then sales we have add billing info add to cart donate purchase start checkout subscribe depending on what you want to target phone call view content uh, 
let's say purchase here this select the value for the conversion if someone buys from you how much does it cost if you are selling a ticket is ten thousand naira let's say ten thousand is it in dollars in dollars how much is that in dollars that's uh ten dollars no is that ten dollars hundred no not hundred it's ten wow so you select that ten dollars yeah thank you <laughs> select the time frame for when the conversion can be counted clicks 30 days views you can select when you want the conversion to be counted views seven days yeah 30 days might be too much let's say seven days clicks can be counted after seven days how each ad interaction is credited for a conversion last touch each campaign yeah last touch each campaign so next this you probably have to read more about this this yeah grammar is kind of a uh, trick okay i don't have any campaign i say all oh, campaign status all oh. then i say this is, this is. so yeah so they say manually set up your tag this is your tag now all you just have to do is you see all of this thing they are saying paste the tag below in your website global footer right above the closing html tag if you know about html uh who is that let me check i, I probably forgot the name but i'll check the face and i will know the person ah where is this guy i've seen him i've seen him now nope just a second Come i'm trying to look for somebody i said he was doing tech joshua for long sure am i right Adekunle. Okay, it's Adekunle. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You are using Thai. This is Joshua Valanche. I missed it. So, I wanted to test my memory. So, yeah. You can see the tags and all of that. You can install this or you email it to your developer. Right? You can, if you have a, someone who manages your website for you, you can email this to them. Right? So you can do event specific as well because you are trying to track a particular action right so that's it there's this oh, there's another code here there's another code yeah for event specific so you copy this to uh you copy this code and send to your developer just send the instruction you'll probably understand then you can use google tag manager you can see google tag manager there are other tag managers but i use google so once you use google tag manager they would uh, let's say google tag manager there is a link on how to use google tag manager so, so you can just follow this step click on google tag manager select your account new tag click tag configuration search for linkedin inside tag 2.0 you do that then you are good we'll search for this uh so your partner id you copy it and you paste there add a trigger then this we'll try and do this before our next class on google tag manager i already explained google tag manager as well you call this you small who is this person so uh where is this now okay let's close this page we'll fix that later then after this you click on next yeah you say save so you have you are done with your campaign group and campaign right but you've not set up your ads then now you will now create your heart right like we said there is the campaign level asset level ad level same with your campaign group campaign and ad then you now create your ad. You have selected your options of uh, then you now start creating your ad here. What is your name this ad? BC 2.0 test. Right? Then you have uh, in those introductory test. What's the introductory test? We copied. Okay. Yeah. My copy and paste is still there. A URL is required. For introductory test, okay. URL HTTPS colon slash slash www. Tech. 
right good then you have a uh, what are you doing image upload your image create up to five hours of selecting multiple images from the bible so you select your image select that's fine open image upload where is it documents access this 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 you selected an image right at the library So there is an AI powered recommendation. I don't know what the AI did to this. But if you have multiple images, you might probably want to test that out. So is this what the AI did? So alt text, what does the image talk about? Fully funded boot camp 2.0 on digital marketing. Design etc. Yeah, that's your alt text. It's, op it's uh, optional. You can add more or more images, right? Your headline, uh, kick start your career in tech. Then your description talks about what your ad is about. Explain that. Uh, let's say. What is this? What is it? Yeah, learn a tech skill before 2023 result. What is it showing? Okay. Then you select your call to action. What do you want to do? Learn more. Sign up. Right? Register. Then you select that. Your register. That's your CTA. CTA call to action. Register. Then after this, what else? Yeah, they are done. Then you click save ad. But I'm not saving this ad because we'll start spending money. I think a card has been added to this. So once you click save ad, your ad starts running, right? Then you can start uh, tracking your ads. But I'm not saving this ad. I don't want to hold this. In. So that's it. That's uh, basically what uh, the ads is about. Any question on this? Any question? Here is your ana analyze inside tag. We'll talk about this inside tag installing this conversion tracking, create conversion. You see, track activity on your website still the tag we are talking about same thing same thing right same thing we would install that later data sources right data source would be inside tag the tag we are talking about so any question on on this on twitter linkedin facebook marketing before i move to my mobile and just show us real quick okay go on with your question All right, thank you, Mr. Mayo. Thank you very much. Okay, well done. Yeah, I have two questions. Do three before I go. I think you answered the third question by what you just showed us now. Okay, because I, I, I noticed you... you let, let me... I, I, I had three questions before, but I want to be sure if I get the answer to my third question clearly. So... I, I noticed now that you first set your 